Time to read the newspaper, Your Majesty. There is king's work to be done. What king's work? The elves want you to inspect their latest toy. Oh, I don't like these elf toy inspections. The toys are always perfect, and all I say is, they're perfect. There's the elf truck now. Hello, Your Majesty. May I present the very latest elf toy? A space rocket. It's perfect. Don't you want to see it fly? <sighs> okay, if I must. Is that it? Yes. But it's called a space rocket. It didn't go anywhere near space, did it? It's just a toy, Your Majesty. Just a toy? I could kick a football higher than that. And rockets should be able to go higher than footballs. Well... I'm sure we can make it go higher. How high? I could make a rocket go to the moon if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I'm an elf. <coughs> and elves can do anything. Very well. I command the elves to build a rocket to fly me to the moon. And me! To fly me and Princess Holly to the moon. And me and Gaston. <coughs> and Nanny Plum to look after the children. I bet you can't fly Holly, Ben, Gaston, me, and Nanny Plum to the moon. You're on. By tonight. Oh, okay. Marvellous. See you later, then. Come on, Ben. We'd better go and start making that rocket. It's a matter of elf honour. Okay. Bye, Holly. See you tonight. Bye. <laughs> Ah, how did the toy inspection go? Uh, did the king say the toy rocket was perfect? Uh, he thought it could go a bit higher. Oh, really? Well, I suppose I could fit a stronger spring. How high does the king want it to go? To the moon. To the moon? And I said we could have some people inside. People inside? By tonight. Impossible. Elf honor is at stake. Elf honor? In that case, we must do it. We'll build this rocket and we'll fly it to the moon tonight. Stop toy production at the Elf Factory. Start work on the Elf Rocket immediately. Right on. Right on. Now, I will work out how to get the elf rocket from here... The Little Kingdom! ...to here... The Moon! Ah, Nanny Plum, I'd like you to join us on a little trip this evening to the moon. A trip to the moon? That sounds nice. I'll pack a picnic. Hello? Hello, Your Majesty. The elf rocket is ready. That was quick. Elves work quickly. And we're elves. <laughs> ah! May I present the elf rocket? Not bad. Does it fly? Does it fly? Of course it flies. It's an elf rocket. The rocket will land here, in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, the seaside. We can make sandcastles. We can have a picnic on the beach. And you can go paddling in the sea. There is no water on the moon. But what is the sea made from? Just rock. A sea of rock? What's the point of that? Listen, everyone. This is a very serious mission. There'll be no swimming or picnic. Here is the main cabin. The cabin is a bit tiny. I might stay down below in the kitchen. The kitchen? There isn't a kitchen. No kitchen? What's all this big space for, then? This space is for the fuel, Nanny Palum. I have worked out exactly how much fuel we need to get you to the moon. Where's the toilet, then? There isn't one. You'll just have to go before you leave. No toilet! 
lads. But if we're having a picnic at the seaside, we'll need... Nanny Palam, it's not a picnic at the seaside. It's a very serious mission. We are going to the moon. Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the Mission Control Room? Ooh! Systems check! Engines ready? Engines are go! Computers ready? Computers on fire! Fuel system ready? Fuel systems A-OK! -okay. Start the countdown! Ten. I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Oh, fairy. Oh, oh fairy. Oh, sorry, Holly. You are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and okay, okay wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! I'm flying! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! Ah! I'm on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. Hello! We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh dear, that's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <laughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to what? We can't reach Nanny Plum! Mr. Elf, the rope isn't long enough! Oh no! Lost in space! But I never even went to the toilet! Here's your lasso, Ben! Thanks, Dad! Keep still! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist! Got you! Hey! You rescued Nanny Plum! Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf, honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy, 